Okay, Station 11. Mr. <coughs> Buffett and Mr. Munger, thank you for taking my question. My name is Feroz Kayyum, and I'm from Mississauga in Canada, and now live in New York. My question is how to best emulate your success in building your circle of competence. Given the environment today in investing is a lot more competitive than when you started out, what would you do differently, if anything at all, when building your circle? Would you still build a very broad generalist framework? Or would you build a much deeper but narrower focus, say, on industries, markets, or even a country? And if so, which ones would interest you? Thank you. Yeah, well, you're right. It is, a, it is much more competitive now than when I started. And you would, uh, when I started, I literally could take the Moody's Industrial Manual, the Moody's Banks and Financial Manual, and I could go through page by page and I, at least run my, run my eyes over every company and think about which ones I might think more about. Uh, it's it's important. I would just do a lot, a whole lot of reading. I'd try and learn as much as I could about as many businesses, and I would try to figure out which ones I really had uh, some important knowledge and understanding that was uh, probably different than overwhelmingly most of my competitors. And I would, I would uh, also try and figure out where, which ones I didn't understand, and I would focus on having as big a circle as I could have and, as, and also focus on being as realistic as I could about where the perimeters of my circle of competence were. I knew when I met Lorimer Davidson in January of 1951, I could get insurance. I mean, it, what he said made so much sense to me in the three or four hours I spent with him on that Saturday. So I dug into it and I... I, I could understand it. My mind worked well in that respect. Uh, I didn't think I could understand retailing. All I'd done was work for the same grocery store that Charlie had, and neither one of us learned that much about retailing, except it was harder work than we liked. And uh, you've got to do the same thing, and you've got way more competition now. But uh, if you get to know even about a relatively small area, more than other people do, and you don't feel a compulsion to act too often. You just, you just wait till, you wait till the odds are strongly in your favor. Uh, it's still a very interesting game. It's harder than it used to be. Charlie? Well, I think the right strategy for the great mass of humanity is to specialize. Nobody wants to go to a doctor that's half proctologist and half dentist, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and. And, well, and the, so the ordinary way to succeed is to narrowly specialize. Warren and I really didn't do that. And, that, and we didn't because we, we prefer the other type of activity. But I don't think we can recommend it to other people. Yeah, it was a little more treasure hunting in no, our day. And, and it was easy to spot the treasure. We made it work, but it was kind of a lucky thing. Yeah. It's you know, not the standard way to go. The business, at least I best understood, actually was insurance. I mean, I, I and and I had very little competition. And, and I would, if I went to, I went to the insurance department in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I remember one time I drove there just to check on some Pennsylvania company. And this is when you couldn't get all this information on the internet. And I went in and I asked about some company, and the guy said, "You're the first one that's ever asked about that company." And uh, uh, there wasn't a lot. I went over to the Standard and Poor's Library on Houston, Houston Street, because they call it, and, and I would go up there and ask for all this obscure information, and there wasn't anybody sitting around there. They had a bunch of tables that you could sit and examine things through, and uh, so it was, it was, there was less competition. But if you know even one thing very well, um, it, it'll give you an edge at some point. But, uh, you know, it's what Tom Watson Sr. said at IBM, you know. Uh, I'm no genius, but I'm smart in spots, and I stay around those spots. And that's, that's basically what Charlie and I try to do, and I think that's probably what you can do, but you'll find that those spots... Yeah, we did it in several fields. That's hard. 
Yeah, we got our head handed to us a few times, too. Yeah.